Hello and welcome to this lesson where we are going to look at the very first chapter in physics. These are some of the questions that I have designed in order to help you to be able to study the course book, the KCSC course book. And I will start with the first chapter, which is Introduction to Physics. If you go to the video description, you will find this question. So what I'll expect you to do is to study the question. You go and study the course book and see whether you can be able to get the answers to these particular questions because they are very easy to get. I have obtained them directly from the textbook. And we go right to the first question. What is physics? Just for one mark. So physics is a study of matter and its relation to energy. And over here, in the document which I've given for download, if you're using Office 2016, you will be able to get this, um, uh, this file and you will see that you can be able to hide the answer to the question just by clicking on an arrow here. There's an arrow just next to the question. If you click it, it hides the answer. But if again you click it, it reveals the answer. This one is very important, especially when you're trying to master certain concepts, master certain skills. You need to be uh, covering the answer and trying to see whether you can be able to remember. So physics is a study of matter and its relation to energy. Like For example, now when we hide it, you try and remember that particular definition. What is physics? Matter in relation to energy. Again, if you've forgotten, just click on it and you'll be able to see the answer immediately. Let's go to the second question, which is asking you to name the six branches of physics. Again, when you go to the course book, this is the next subtopic whereby the six branches of physics are named, starting from mechanics, electricity and magnetism, thermodynamics, geometric optics, waves, and atomic physics. Try to arrange them the way they have been named here because that is the way they are studied even in the course book, starting with mechanics. So don't mention mechanics at the very last as the very last branch it should be among the first branches in fact to be the first one followed by electricity and magnetism thermodynamics geometric optics waves and atomic physics again when you hide it you will be able again to test yourself can i still be able to remember the the six branches of physics that is one of the questions that you need to ask yourself Let's go to the other question where, okay, in this particular question, let me uh, first of all read the question. In the question you were asked, name each of the six branches of physics and state what that branch deals with. That is the question. So again, you're going to repeat the answer that you have there like for example when you name mechanics you should be able to state that it is the study of motion and the forces which influence that particular motion so again don't just go to the answer go to the course book try to look at the the answer to that particular question because you really want to understand that particular aspect but if you're in hurry and you're revising just use that particular um, file and you'll be able to see all the six branches there is a, a, a simple statement that is given to describe each one of the branches starting with the mechanics the study of motion of bodies under the influence of forces okay electricity and magnetism this deals with the relationship between electric current and magnetic fields and the applications in several devices uh, among these are the is the electric motor magnetic relay telephone receiver and so many other applications the next branch is of course thermodynamics this is a study of the transformation of heat to and from other forms of energy okay then we've got geometrical optics the study of the behavior of light as it traverses 
or as it passes through various media okay that is geometrical optics then we've got waves this is a study of the propagation of energy through space the study of the propagation of energy through space there is more information in the course book about each one of the branches but over here i'm interested in a simple statement that describes each one of those branches how about atomic physics the study of the behavior of particles constituting the nucleus and the accompanying energy changes you should remember first of all you should be able to list all the six branches starting with mechanics all the way to atomic physics in that order and then you should have a simple statement that describes each one of those branches that is what question three is all about so if again we cover the answer and ask ourselves can we be able to remember the answers to each one of those um, parts for example can we be able to list all the six branches which is examined in question two and then question three is asking again to list the six branches but this time you do a little bit more you explain a little bit more what it is give a simple statement a single statement describing each one of those uh, branches question number four this is about the relationship between physics and other subjects there are several subjects that are listed in our course book what is the relationship between physics and religion for example and there is a simple statement there that state that systems in the universe reveal great orderliness which can be traced back to the creator the study of physics comes up with findings that are in total agreement with this orderliness and then i'm giving an example there the earth faithfully maintains its rotation so that the sun will always rise from the east and never from the west that is orderliness and this one can be traced back to the creator uh, which is studied under religion you may cite other examples such as the anomalous expansion of water and so forth these are the wonders in nature which uh, are in accordance with religion how about physics and history let's look at it carbon dating an application of radioactivity which is studied under the sixth branch of physics um, serves as a crucial tool to historians in establishing fossil ages and hence past patterns of life in other words here we are looking at um, the timing or dating a certain fossil and therefore knowing uh, what patterns of life it represented during those particular time an example would be explorers like vasco da gama made use of the magnetic properties of lodestone mm -hmm. to determine direction that is just one of the examples and remember it is not the only example there are several examples that show the relationship between physics and history so we cover that one up we look at physics and geography what can we be able to say about physics and geography very simple establishment of weather patterns relies on the accurate use of instruments like the thermometer a thermometer is a piece of instrument which is very important it is studied in physics under uh, thermal expansion wind vane and the hygrometer all these are instruments which are which make use of physics principles but they are used in geography to study the weather so you can definitely see a relationship there between them again i want to emphasize when you are doing these uh, when you're using this uh, uh, document which is downloadable uh, in the video description make sure that first of all you try the answers out before you can say okay i know this how about physics and home science physics knowledge has been applied in the design and manufacture of kitchen equipment such as the cooking utensils such as the refrigerator all these make use of physics concepts but they are very useful in home science again you can see physics normally deals with the 
her with the with the science behind the working on of something and then the working of that thing is used in that particular subject for example the working of the refrigerator is studied under quantity of heat which comes uh, under the branch thermodynamics and then the refrigerator is used in home science for preservation of foodstuffs and other items that we use in home science i hope you're seeing uh, the relationship between the subjects uh, the subject physics and these other subjects How about physics and biology knowledge of lenses has helped in the making of the microscope where do we use microscopes in biology but it makes use of lenses which is studied under the topic thin lenses under geometrical optics which is a branch of physics so knowledge of lenses has helped in the making of the microscope which has assisted in the study of the cell the basic unit of life just to cite just to cite a very simple example how about physics and chemistry physics has helped in explaining forces uh, within atoms and therefore atomic structure we study atomic structure in chemistry which is the action of one substance on another physics and mathematics there is a huge relationship here between physics and mathematics physics relates strongly to mathematics most concepts in physics are expressed mathematically i'm going to give a very simple example an example of pressure pressure is defined as force acting normally per unit area and immediately we get that definition we usually write down an equation which is which is associated with the definition in fact to define a physical quantity means to show how that physical quantity is obtained from other physical quantities by either multiplication or division we are going to see that concept in um, in the next chapter which is measurement one so here i've just given an example feel free to give examples of other equations such as density is equals to mass uh, over volume okay work is equals to force times distance moment again force times perpendicular distance and so forth uh, how about physics and technology in medicine let's have a look at that in the field of medicine applications of physics are used in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases and we know that medicine would go nowhere without physics in the modern world a student who is studying medicine needs to know a lot of physics for instance let's look at x-rays and body scanners and lasers which are used in operation nowadays all these are concepts which are studied in physics uh, but they are used in technology uh, that is applicable that is applied in medicine i hope you've been able to see the usefulness of this particular uh, chapter introduction to physics when you download it you can print it out like that when you print it out the way it is it doesn't have the answers but if you expand if you expand and then you print it out when it is it is expanded then it will give you the question and the answer question and the answer you know you might want such uh, a printout for keeping in the file and if you're a teacher out there you can be able to use the same for your class so go right ahead download this particular document in the video description and you'll find that in that particular file uh, if you go to the to view and then you go to the navigation pane you will be able to see other areas other areas such as uh, measurement part one and so forth and so forth and you can see that one is just in form one you'll be able to see form two you'll be able to see form three and you'll be able to see form four but probably the one that you will download only has that particular chapter because i'm still working on it go right ahead download it and start making use of it and remember when we say you start making use of it remember it is accompanied with the course book these are study questions 
they help you to study the course book. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next lesson where I'll be dealing with the next chapter, which is measurement part one. Bye-bye.